Welcome back to the channel and today we're building the little armory Tommy Tech 5.56mm Minimine machine gun so this is the FN Minimine machine gun introduced in the late 70s and currently in use by over 75 countries including my own Australia so in the box we get two uh, packs and of course a set of instructions in the box that I haven't yet got out but is in a box let's open these packs up and take a close look at the pieces okay another cut there Okay, so this pack here uh, includes the um, buttstock, barrel, and the handguard. Uh, we have our box magazine there for the weapon. And this one uh, contains the rest of the parts. Main body, bipod, spare barrel, which you can't actually use because you only get really half the barrel. And... Uh, just the other components we need. Here's our instruction set and very easy to follow this build. Uh, let's get into the build now. So once again using our um, model clippers uh, as I always recommend use these model clippers as opposed to a hobby knife makes it so much easier to remove these. Now key thing to remember there uh, do not cut too close to the main body there. There is a little nib there that you can see at the end uh, where the barrel end comes out. You do need that nib to um, uh, secure the bipod onto. So be careful about, don't cut that off. Okay, gluing these parts together. And with this build, remember this you don't need to glue all parts together for example the barrel we don't glue the barrel on because the barrel is removable take it on take it off and also the bipod we won't be gluing that either but feel free to glue those on if you really want to it's up to you these parts here um, are all glued um, some parts click in place you don't necessarily need to glue them in so probably better to test first if, if they click in firmly you may not necessarily need to glue it just means that you can disassemble it later uh, I would not recommend um, gluing the um, top feed cover in either which you'll see um, later on So as I said, uh, this is a current uh, machine gun that is in use in the uh, many armies around the world, including the Australian Army. Uh, I've had the opportunity to fire this, uh, and it is a great weapon. But does require lubrication, otherwise it gets jammed. Okay, so we're just um, cutting off the handguard here. And um, using the Tomiya 1500 grit uh, flexible sandpaper just to smooth down some of those um, edges where we've cut it off from the frame. Always worthwhile um, just checking the fit of the parts before you glue it in place, just to make sure you've got the positioning right. Um, in real life this um, handguard area that I'm um, trying to assemble here is one piece but for this model it comes in three parts the two side parts and then another side another part that sits in the middle it does look like it's incomplete because the middle is recessed but that's because the bipod legs are intended to fold up underneath the weapon so follow the instructions take your time 
Maybe hold off on using the glue until you fit the parts together, just to make sure you've got the position and fit right, then glue it in place. That way you're not gonna end up with a whole lot of glue and mess everywhere. So we've got a bit more light on the situation now, so um, apologies, the lighting previously was a little bit on the darker side. So we can see what we're doing now. Okay, there we are, getting that handguard in place. Now, you get two options with a bipod, the open bipod, open bipod, or the closed bipod. There is a little um, recess there that the closed bipod just clicks up into, just to keep it in place. Okay, so that's done. Let's now get the barrel. It does have a gas plug in the end of the barrel. It's very, very small, so be really, really careful um, cutting that off. Um, in my assembly, I've actually overlooked it, but I did realize that at, um, later, at a later stage that I needed to add it in. Yeah, as I said, there is a spare barrel there, but it's only half a barrel. It doesn't come with the, um, the muzzle so it's kind of a little bit useless, that second barrel. Okay, once again, just um, smoothing out any of these rough edges, checking the fit, and checking the barrel fits. Fits very snugly, it's a very firm, nice fit, um, so very happy with that. Okay, putting on the um, barrel uh, cover and the um, and the uh, buttstock. So you, this isn't a, this is a firm fit. You don't have to glue it in place, but you can. So the feed cover, as I said earlier, don't glue it in place because you can um, move it up and down. Also the barrel protector, don't glue that in place because if you glue that in place, you won't be able to get the barrel off, which means you won't be able to swap out the bipod leg. So don't glue that in place either. Now, when I built this, I left the barrel um, cover on, but I later removed it because in the Australian setup and as other countries around the world have the setup, they don't actually use that, that barrel cover. And I'll, I'll point that out again very shortly, what I mean by that, if uh, you, you don't follow. Okay, so let's get all this assembled again. Uh, just assembling the um, ammunition box there. So this ammunition box, uh, not used by the Australian military, it was definitely used by the US military. I'm not sure what other countries around the world use this particular uh, ammunition box. In Australia we used a soft um, ammunition box so you'll, that's made out, made out of a canvas like material. I'll show you a picture of that very shortly what that looks like. But really the only the, um, the US option here to go with which is fine. Very happy with this model that you do get um, a ammunition belt uh, that goes into that box magazine and then feeds into the weapon. So that's a nice touch because one of the previous um, machine guns that I've done, you didn't actually get that with it. There is a Picatinny rail that you can also um, optionally fit to the weapon, um, but I found that I was just happy with the, um, the iron sights and not the Picatinny rail, but up to you whatever you want to do. So there it is where, there with the Picatinny rail. I later removed that Picatinny rail and just put the, um, the iron sights back in place. So as I was saying earlier, here's the US setup. You can see that same um, plastic uh, box uh, ammunition. And here's the Australian version with the um, canvas um, pouch. And here's the final weapon. After it's been painted, 